Hello everyone, this is Weapon Dragon here and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be talking about the Create mod and today I am going to be showing you some early game kinetic power sources that can give decent amount of rotational power. So starting off, let's craft the goggles. So, let's take the string and also we have to place the gold under the press. Let's just do it right now. Let's just take the golden sheet, go to our crafting table, here, here, there's a golden sheet and a string, this gives us the goggles, so with the help of our goggles we can see the stress units and stuff, so in this video we are going to be covering the water wheel, copper hand valve and the hand crank, so let's just go ahead and start with the water wheel, so this is type of a turbine as you can see and the water is pushing the water wheel causing it to rotate, and this is also giving rotational power and currently the water wheel is running at 256 stress units so let's just go and craft the water wheel first so in order to craft the water wheel we can just do stuff like this four planks four buttons on the corners and an andesite alloy in the middle that will give us large cog wheel with the help of a large cog wheel we place slabs all around the large cog wheel and then we have the water wheel so if you place the water wheel you can see this is the water wheel so as you can see if you look closely this is how the water wheel should rotate and keep in mind that this is only how the water wheel should rotate and not the other direction because if you sit in the wrong direction is the stress unit and the speed of the water wheel will go low so to make sure it doesn't go low you have to place it correctly and this right here is a maxed out water wheel. So in a maxed out wheel has like maximum of 320 stress units. Also this has like soul sand and bubbles. So if you notice some the difference between these two is that in this one there's you know, all the faces of the water wheel are exposed to water. While in this one which is your first assembly all the faces of the water wheel are not exposed to water. This is because obviously if you uh, want all the faces of your water wheel to be exposed to water you need to get soul sand and to get soul sand you need to go to the nether. So if you want to set up a water wheel before going to the nether you need to place a block here so that's just the difference. Also another thing you would notice here is that two water wheels. So apparently having two water wheels actually adds up some stress units and also makes it rotate faster. So uh, suppose this is the main water wheel and I add another water wheel here. So this water wheel will become faster and this will also have some more stress units. So this right here is the mechanical press. This is just a kinetic appliance as being powered by the water wheel. As you can see, the water wheel is rotating, the shaft is moving and this mechanical press is active. So we will use this once again. So let's just come to the copper hand valve. The copper hand valve and the hand crank, so both of them work pretty similar. Only difference is the hand crank is faster and the copper hand valve can have like, can be dyed and can apply aesthetics to the copper hand valve. So let's just quickly go and turn these copper hand ingots into sheets. So as you can see the press is going down and pressing the copper ingots into sheets. So. Let's just put them to get two sheets and with the help of sheets, we can now craft a copper hand valve. So this is our copper valve handle. So this is how you do it. And if you want to dye it, you can just get any dye, like suppose we want a yellow dye. So we can just take this and put it in the crafting table. Put it up and yellow valve handle. So you can apply aesthetics. But the difference between these two is that this is faster. So this takes about. So it took about four seconds to break. And about this. Uh, so it took about six seconds to break according to the time I set up here. So this proves that this is faster. And also another advantage of having these two things are basically of their compactness. So if you were to go around, suppose you were to go around 
getting collecting wood and you came across a tree so instead of breaking the tree all out yourself you can just place your saw like that and then you place your hand crank on top so valve handle and the entire tree at one go so it just makes your work a lot easier and it's compact so you can just go around applying power rotational power to certain machines but there's a downside and the downside is that it's not automatic it's manual but i guess that's what its purpose is like if you were, were to go collecting wood you could you obviously would be like wanting a portable uh, power source so these are great portable power sources so yeah that's all for the video hope you enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to get a like and if you like my channel please make sure to subscribe that's it for the video